Hey everybody, and welcome back to this Chelsea FIFA 23 career mode. Sorry, there was no episode yesterday. Super busy Friday night, and then I just didn't feel very well. Didn't really want to do recording. My voice was gone. All of that jazz. But we're back at it today, and we can all but secure qualification to the knockout stage of the Champions League. The top of the Premier League by a point. You know, we've got teams hot on our heels. Spurs a point behind us. Man United and Leicester both within two points. But Champions League's really where we're at. If I show you the table... Because this is the game that we've got first to kick this episode off. I'll get there eventually. There we go. We're a perfect three from three at the moment. And I would like to keep it that way as we take on Dynamo Zagreb, who are chasing Milan for that second spot. Qualification through to the knockout stage. I would like to keep our perfect record going, though, and start this episode with a nice victory. With it being a Champions League game, I'm trying something new. New formation. 3-4-3. Three, three. No idea if it's going to work, but I think we've got the personnel to try it. There you go, that's what it looks like. Kepa, obviously with it being a Champions League game, starts in goal. for Fafana, Silva, Chalaba, then Chilwell and James. Wingbacks, real proper wingbacks. Gallagher and Kovacic in midfield. Sterling, Broja, who scored his first Chelsea goal this weekend. Delighted about that. And Mount playing up there as well. In terms of Zagreb, they are lining up with a 4-3-3 attacking formation. So let's get at them. This fixture actually brings us into November as well. So we're getting very close that January transfer window now. I asked a lot of you what to do with Romelu Lukaku in the comment section and the vast majority of you wanted him gone, wanted him sold. So I'm happy about that because that was my thoughts. We'll see what happens here. Zagreb have an early opportunity, but the flag goes up. Kovacic out to Reese James. Did have a lot more influence in an attacking capacity today with this formation, James. Plays it inside. Broho is there. Touch wasn't great. Tight angle. Goes for it. Just smashes it across goal. Chilwell was coming in, actually. Should have squared it. Go in. Big short. Kovacic. Down. Gallagher's there in space. Left foot, Conor Gallagher. Not bad. Sterling to Broha. Hold up play. It's good. Finds Mount. Mount into Kovacic. Reese James on the overlap. Ball is fizzed in. Look at his football. Mount. Has he gone too soon? Yes, he has. Good football, though. Brilliant football. It's a really good ball, that, out wide. Chalaba with some defenders to do here. Horsic taking him on. Cross comes in. Gallagher will mop that up. James finds Mount. Only Broha ahead of him. These two are going to have to do something special, and they might have just done that. Broja springs the offside trap. All about applying the finish. Power shot. What you got? Hmm. That should have been 1-0. Should have been 1-0. Nice bit of play. Thiago Silva. Look at that defend. It's just effortless. And now we can break. This is what I like about this formation. Look at Raheem. But Broja in the middle. Needs to stay on side. He's got Mount at the back stick. Instead he looks for Broja. I... It was harder to miss. It was harder to miss. Don't want to see that. We'll see him make up for it. He's ducking out. He's having a mare. Sterling, whip it tops. Oh, Raheem. <laughs> As if the ref's blowing the whistle there. They were basically in. Oh, my goodness me. Formation seems good. We look very good going forward. I'm not sure whether it would work in the Prem against a uh, tougher opposition than Zagreb. But... We'll see. That was really cool from Diago Silva, by the way. Yeah, I'd worry we'd be a bit vulnerable against better opposition. No disrespect to Zagreb. But, yeah, we do look a bit shaky at the back. If it wasn't for Thiago Silva, I don't know where we'd be. But we're on the move now. Sterling. No. That's a good bit of play. That's a good bit of play. Thiago Silva's not getting there, is he? Kepa. No. 1-0 Zagreb. Right. Game on. Give it a couple of minutes, we'll make a formation change if we need to. But we are behind here at the bridge. Completely and utterly against the run of play here. Good finish. Really good finish. Just puts his foot through it. Chilwell. Into Sterling. Chilwell stays on side. No one really in the box apart from Broya. We can't pick him out. He'd miss if we did anyway. Yes, Kovacic. Oh, that's brilliant. Broya, make up for it, son. Oh, the touch let him down. He was just sluggish today. Just seemed a bit sluggish. He's getting in all the right areas. I do like him. That goal he scored was like, ironically, Diego Costa-esque, wasn't it? We have left it late. 
in the Champions League in the past. Can we do it again here? Gonna need to. They might make it two, actually. They might make it two. Oh no, I thought I scored an own goal. Reese James gets back. Or was it for Fana? I'm not sure which one of the two it was. I think it was going wide anyway, but they nearly diverted it into their own goal. Corner to Zagreb. Cleared away, just about. We look ropey today. Go on, Raheem. Get there, Raheem. No, that's a good bit of play. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are. Onside. Ben Chilwell. Become a hero of this career mode. Why are you so slow, Ben? Why are you so slow, Ben? Tight angle. Ben. Oh, my. Making a change. Mount off. Ziek on. The only change for now. Need a bit more quality. By that, I'm not saying Ziek's better than Mount, of course. I'm just saying he's very technically good. So... Bit more quality with the final pass, maybe. If he gets space in 25, inside the 25 yard of the goal, he might pop it top bins. Zagreb might make it two here. They're on the attack. We're overloaded. Uh, been done there. Fafana's done well. Bit of a mix up at the back, but we move. Go on in, Raheem. Go on in, Raheem. Keep travelling, Raheem. Can't mark everybody. What a pass that is. Kovacic. Now what? Gallagher. Raheem, touch, finish. Ah! A perfect Champions League run might be over. There is still time. But at least grab an equaliser. What a pass that is. Go on, Chile. Players in the box. Lots of players in the box. One arriving now. Oh, Reese James. What a header. He met that perfectly. And it's gone like a rocket into the bottom corner. 88th minute. We've left it late again. What a cross from Chilwell. There was Broher in there. There was Ziyech in there. But look at this leap from Reese James. Oh, what a header. Calibre. Yeah, big tackle. And again. Go on, lad. Is there time? No, there definitely isn't. Not going to keep up our 100% winning run. But we've, we've got a late equaliser. Wasn't a great performance. As I say, that fixture took us into November, so not too far away from the transfer window opening. But looking at our youth players, Eduardo Martins excites me. And then Bruno Borges, Borges excites me as well. They're both on development plans. Keeping an eye on these. They could be good. They could even be called up to get some first team action at the back end of this year. Proper derby. Oh, that looks amazing. Proper derby day now. Even the Adidas trainers. What detail. I've seen that before, that clip. West Ham at home though. London Derby. It's a big one. There's your 11. 4 2 3 1. I'm keeping it very simple. Kante comes in to cover a lot of ground. He's in there with Gallagher. I like the way Gallagher's playing at the moment. Cucurella Silva, Koulibaly James at the back. Sterling Havertz and Mount behind Abamyang, who comes back in. West Ham. Same formation. Gamaka up top. <laughs> Gamaka up top. We'll try that again, shall we? Paqueta for Nals and Jared Bowen in behind. Suchek and Declan Rice on the shortlist. Chance to have a look at him today in midfield. But defensively, we can get at them for sure. Go on, Raheem. Aubameyang. Raheem's gone. Has he got the pace to get past Sufal? He might have, but not the strength. Not the strength. I thought that was a great ball there from Aubameyang. Well, it was a good ball. It just didn't quite work out. Mount. That sits up nicely for him, Mason Mount. It was worth a hit. I had no one ahead of me. Mount's not going to dribble his way through the entire team. A good effort. Kai Havertz, he'll be pleased to get some uh, game time. Scored the opener against Wolves the other day. He's trying to bend one. Oh, <laughs> Kai Havertz. That was a beauty. And it's taken 10 minutes. That's all. A moment of individual brilliance that we know this man is capable of. It's there. It's inside him. It just doesn't come out every week on the football pitch. Apart from when he found a pocket space. In the Champions League final against Man City, of course. But look at that. Took it away from his man. Onto his left foot and just curled it past Fabianski. That should relax some nerves. We didn't start well at all against Zagreb in terms of getting ourselves in a dominant position. But we've done that here against West Ham. And I want to go on and keep it that way. This formation feels good, you know. 4-2-3-1 does feel good. Not what we've been playing all season. But I like it. Havertz. He's in a free roll today. That's what the 4-2-3-1... I think I said it in episode one. That's what the 4-2-3-1 allows us to do, is give Kai Havertz free roam to have an influence on the game. Here's Mount. don't really know where he's going with it, Mason Mount. Still got it. Finds Gallagher. Gallagher not too sure either. Just going to keep it. Keep working it. Here's Raheem. Kante. Back to Cucurello. Don't need to rush it. We've got a lot of West Ham players back here. 
about probing and finding the openings. Taking the opportunity when it arrives. Look at this football. Oh, the ball across. Could have been better. Should have been better. Should have been 2-0. Let's stand on the counter. Let's stand on the counter. One hours. Is James going to cross? Yeah, take that off you. Thank you. Now we break. Havertz. Bamiyang. Pace. Good first touch as well. Pierre-Emerick Bamiyang. Angles against him. Might have to go hard and low. Good save. Amaka. Oh, Koulibaly steps out of the back line. Takes it off his man. He's got options left and right. He goes left. Kai Havertz. Dink. Oh, Havertz is on fire. Havertz. I've got stopped in a celebration because it is annoying me. But what another marvellous finish. Full credit, though, to Koulibaly. Steps out of the defence to win the ball. It's all about picking the right option at that point. He had a runner to his right in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He had a runner to his left in Havertz. He shaped right, reversed it left, and Havertz done the rest with a sublime finish. Here we go, lads. We're running riot. We're running riot. Havertz on a hatchet. Oh, he's been chopped from... Oh, he's giving it. He's giving it. And a yellow card for Suchek as well. That's harsh. I feel like that was a good... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's no way he was already on a yellow card. We've had no bookings in this game. He has received two yellow cards for his first tackle. I'm sure of it. Havertz over the top. Bam it! Oh, that would have been a little bit special, wouldn't it? We're playing some lovely football. West Ham, two goals down with ten men. Game's looking a bit bleak for them, isn't it? Reese Jones with the corner. In stringer to the near post. Not Sterling. Oh my god, that is a nasty challenge. Refs, let us get away with it. Reese James, top bins. Oh! Hat trick. Oh! Oh my god. What is going on? What a first half. Oh, what a touch. Everything in this game has just been mental. What a tackle. It's all over. Four, 45 minutes down. 45 to go. Into the second half. I'm hoping it's as entertaining as the first. I've made one change. He's played a lot of games, but I'm going to give uh, Christian Pulisic a run out here. I've taken off Sterling. Bit of a rest. I want to see what Pulisic can do. I'm hoping Chelsea under Graham Potter, he has like a new lease of life and showed the form he did when football returned with Project Restart because he was unreal. Reese Jones with a cross. Oh my goodness me. Imagine if that went in. Some crazy thing. <laughs> what is going on? That's a good ball, actually. Stamaka running into the channel. Oh, good footwork. Koulibaly doesn't get the interception done. Bendy with a great save. We've got to make that and we don't. It's 2-1. West Ham, despite their numerical disadvantage. Is that Emerson? Is that em that's Emerson, isn't it? Em He's on loan from Chelsea. Shouldn't be allowed, FIFA. Shouldn't be allowed. First save was great. That's lovely play. Really sick. Bend it tops. That is literally twice that's happened now. Annoying. He scored a worldie at St. Mary's. I was trying to replicate that. He's finesse shots from distance. We're like looping him over Fabianski, who isn't the, the tallest of goalkeepers, is he? I don't think he's that tall. But we've come within a, a hair of scoring a worldie in this game on a couple of occasions. But now the game's tight. It's 2-1. Closer than I thought it was going to be. I don't like it. I'd like to restore our two-goal advantage. Christian Pulisic is breaking here. Cuts back. Puts the ball into the back stick. Mount with a looping header. It's bad. Could be 2-2 here. Could be 2-2 here. Oh, Mendy. You legend. Need to make a change. It certainly won't be that one. This time I'm thinking about changes too. What are we going to do? I'm going to take Aubameyang off because he's on a yellow card. I'm going to bring on Broja for his height. And I'm going to bring on Kovacic just to secure things up in the midfield a bit. Could make more changes, I know, but I don't want to upset the balance of the game too much. And we're away here. Kovacic, if he plays that early, why is Cucurella the furthest man forward? Ah, oh, that's where you want a Bamiyang. I've just taken him off. That's where you want it to be a Bamiyang. That's going out, isn't it? Terrible, terrible. Pulisic. Oh, that's lovely. Bro, her this time. Don't make a mess of it. Don't make a mess of it. On your left foot, strike it. That's unlucky. That's amazing play. West Ham, out of nowhere, trying to get themselves level here. We've had a lot of possession, as you'd expect. Quite a few chances, haven't taken them. Hit the woodwork a few times. But we've got to see this game out here with some decent game management. And at the moment, that's not happening. 
West Ham are giving it their all here. Proper derby feels. Got in behind Reese James here as well. Cross could come in. Gulabali trying to defend. Mendy with a good save. Need the full time whistle. Oh, what a ball that is. Hat trick would be good now, Kite. We'll square it. Bro -ha! Well, that's risky. Blow it, ref. Blow the full time whistle, please. Kovacic, get there, please. Oh, my God, what a lunge. There we go. Chelsea 2, West Ham 1. We've got the three points. Not a stunning display. Good first half. Not so good second, but a win's a win. Apparently, Suchek got that yellow card two minutes, three minutes before the first one. I don't remember it happening. So he's got it in the exact, at the exact same time that Kai Havertz scored. Weird. I don't know if there was anything in the build-up to the goal, but... I mean, that was a big win for us, and there was some good news. It's that Manchester United were held at home to Newcastle, and Liverpool drew 1-1 with Everton in the Merseyside derby. So they're not so much on our heels. But Tottenham and City are both a point behind. Leicester only two points behind. So it's tough. And we've got Everton away next, which, as Chelsea fans know, is not a fixture that's been kind to us recently, over recent years. I'll show you the starting 11s on this screen. I think that's uh, probably a more efficient way of doing it. You can see both teams side by side and compare them. It says probable lineup, but I think more often than not, it is the correct lineup. Everton 5-4-1. Very defensive under former Chelsea manager Frank Lampard today. Like I said, it's a bit of an unhappy hunting ground for us. We're sticking with the 4-2-3-1. I've gone for youth in midfield with Gallagher and Loftus-Cheek. I've put Mount at Cam because out wide it's not really working for us. Diet comes in there. And Kai Havertz, after his two goals against West Ham, leads the line today up front rather than in that free roll. I don't know whether it's better with Havertz behind Aubameyang or Mount behind Havertz. We'll see. Everton coming forward. That's a risky ball though. And Sterling is going to pounce. Sterling's going to pounce. He could be away here. Seamus Coleman giving chase. The touch was bad. The ball was bad. That was a chance. That is a good ball. We're out of position. We're out of shape. Calvert-Lewin. Rather him out there than out wide. But he's cut the ball inside. And Everton lead. I think it's Onana. The new boy. They paid a lot of money for him. And they're reaping the rewards here. Calvert-Lewin made the run into the left-hand channel. We got all out of shape defensively. Mendy's been beaten at his near post. Gugarella. We can slide it. I hate Everton away. I absolutely hate... I mean, I love the ground. I love the fans. Very, very passionate place. But as a Chelsea fan, it's just... It feels like misery. I feel like it's a fixture you're always going to lose. And it's proven to be the case here in this career mode too. Turn around is needed as Loftus-Cheek comes forward. That's nice play. He's been good in recent weeks. Havertz. Oh, I I was... Passes on. Oh, that's brilliantly played. Sterling. Cuts inside nicely. He'd love to score as a former Liverpool man against Everton, I'm sure. Or maybe not. Maybe he doesn't hate Everton anymore. Maybe he hates Liverpool. Who knows? Loftus-Cheek, that's good. I've had, had a couple of nibbles at it. Got it at the second attempt. Here we go. Sterling. Oh, he's collided with Pickford. That could have been nasty. Too much weight on the pass. Everton sitting very, very deep, which is actually making it really difficult for us to play the ball in behind. Clever. Clever tactics. Five at the back as well. Very little space for us to manoeuvre. And they come forward though. They do look dangerous. Cucurella with some defending to do here. Just want to stop the cross really. Coleman goes back. Davies, that's worked well. Here's the goal scorer, Anana. Back to Davies. Lovely reverse ball. We're overloading us. Stop the cross, Silva. Well played. Well played. Now play that out wide. Now counter. Now go. Now go, Raheem. Now go, Raheem. Have it. Ah! Oh! Too, too eager, too direct. Needs to be a bit more cuter than that, if you like. Gallagher. Uh, he's been smashed. Here's Mount. What's the Mount going to do? Let's find out. Unbelievable. Terrible. Taking off Ziyech, because I don't really remember him being involved in this game at all, to be honest. I've pushed Mount back out wide. Mount was poor at Cam. Aubameyang on. Havertz playing in the free roll. Let's see if we can... Recreate what we did against West Ham in the first half, especially. Here is a Bamiang. Oh my god. Lads, this is schoolboy stuff. What a ball. Gulabali, clear that. Well played. 
I feel like I need to buy in January a new winger, a new right winger. I know Rafael Leal is on the short list. He tends to play on the left, I think, or as a striker. But right wingers, guys, help me out. What you got for me? Get the short list moving. That's a good ball. Is he onside? Looks to be. Oh, ball's bouncing around in the box. Bit pinball. Gallagher win that. No, Calvert-Lewin does. We're putting Everton on the back foot here. Thiago Silva, that's nice. Mount with a good touch to James. Off to Cheek. Great build-up play. Really good build-up play. Really good. Can Oh, deserve to finish. Yes, Reese. Extended spell of pressure, I must say. Loftus Cheek finds Mount. Mount into a Bamiang. Need Havertz to make that run. He kind of did. Kind of did. There's no way through. Look at this Everton back line, man. Look at it. Like Pimble. Mount. Sterling. Mount. Sterling. Sterling, get there. Raheem. He is. He stands it up. Havertz. <laughs> no. I don't know how. I don't know how we haven't scored. I've taken Raheem Sterling off. Brought on Christian Pulisic and hope that he can do something. Anthony Gordon's come on for Everton. No idea why he wasn't starting, by the way. It's been one of those games, isn't it? Pulisic, Gallagher. Lovely ball from Conor Gallagher. Oh, we're level. And look who it is. It's the man who's been poor. It's Mason Mount. Not had his best game at all, but he pops up. Diving into boxes here. Pops up when it matters most. Clever waiting here from Gallagher. And the defence for once. There was a gap for once. No. Surely not. No, no, no. no. Mendy, Mendy. My word. Koulibaly's turned into Beckham. What a ball that is. Go on, lads. Get another. I dare you. Havertz. Chess it down. We'll take the free kick. Thank you. I was going to say that was nasty. Actually playing it short to Koulibaly. Surely not. Surely not. <sighs> that was close. There he is. Super Frank. I have no idea why I've hit that with Koulibaly. That should have been a pass into the box. I just got excited. It opened up for him 25 yards out. And I thought, what better way to win a game than a 90, 90th minute Koulibaly screamer? Could happen. But the other end. I've got to focus now on not losing the game. Guys, what's going on? I've dived in. Oh, no. As soon as I did it, I knew. I thought I got the ball. I thought I got the ball. I need to see a replay. I need to see a replay of that. I'm sure I got the ball. It was risky. It was stupid. Oh, I think I've got the ball. Anyway, tell you what we have got. A penalty against us and a glorious chance for Dominic Calvert-Lewin to win the game for Everton here. The three minutes are up. We need Mendy. Be a penalty hero. Mendy! He's gone the wrong way. Everton have won it. Lampard's on the pitch. Fans are on the pitch. There's a guy in a hat. Looks like he's just come off the golf course on the pitch. There's people on the pitch that shouldn't be on the pitch. 2-1 Everton. Fans go mental. It's a big win for them. Oh, what a brilliant camera angle here. Mendy committed early, went the wrong way. Calvert Lewin with the winner. Yeah, the last kick of the game. Everton 2, Chelsea 1. Disappointing. I wonder what that's done. Oh, Southampton 4, Manchester United 3. Love to see it. I wonder what that's done to the Premier League table, though. It's switched to the Champions League because we've got Milan next. That'll decide virtually who wins the group. But if we have a look. At the Premier League. Oh, show me the Carabao Cup. QPR knocked us out. Mm, I feared that would be the case. We're down to third now. We're level on points with City. We've got half the goal difference. Yeah, that was those two back-to-back 3-0 -back defeats. Spurs are top. Two points clear. United in fifth. Southampton in sixth, who just beat United, ironically. But there's a bit of a gap there between, you know... Us and outside the top four, which I'm happy about. Liverpool in eighth, Everton in twelfth, Arsenal down in thirteenth. But they do have a game in hand, and they can climb all the way up to seventh with a victory. Down at the bottom, Nottingham Forest, Bournemouth, and Leeds with just the one win, and that was us, man. But yeah, right wingers, right wingers, what I think we need in the transfer window, along with some other positions. We will, there will be some outgoings and some transfers in as well. So keep your suggestions in the comments coming. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.